Getting the right twist rate is a very important subject in firearms. There are equations to find the exact theoretical twist rate for a given bullet, one of which is the Green Hill formula, which was covered in a previous video. The point of this video is to inform what happens when a bullet has too much twist or too little twist. With a myriad of commercial ammunition of various length and weights to choose from, it is more critical that the right ammo is paired with the right twist rate. Let's start with what happens when there is too little twist. The rotating motion of a projectile is what keeps it stable in flight, so when there is not enough rotation of speed, then the projectile will fail to stabilize properly. This will cause the projectile to yaw and then tumble. This is what is commonly referred to as keyholing, as the bullet tumbling through the air will leave a keyhole shape on the target. On the flip side, having too much rotational speed can actually cause the bullet to tear itself mid-flight. As Newton have stated, an object at rest will tend to stay at rest, so when a bullet is subjected to extreme pressure and forces, such as being fired from a high-powered rifle with a very aggressive twist in a very short span of time, the bullet will spin itself apart and shower the air with tiny fragments, which is not a very good thing. So that's why it is very important to know your twist rates and choose your bullets wisely. After all, you wouldn't want to stake your life on unexpected twists. Thanks for watching.